Just a quick message to let you know that I am a trained fitness professional with over 10 years experience. If you do decide to participate in any of these workouts, myself or the HFL Mentor brand will not be responsible for any injuries that may occur as a result of your participation within this workout. You do so at your own risk. Any questions or concerns that you may have before participating in this workout, please let me know in the comment section below this video. That's all from me. Take care and enjoy the workout. All right, guys, it's time to train abs. Now, I just want to make this very, very clear to you all. I don't generally train abs like I rarely do. In fact, I don't ever do a whole session on abs, mainly because that everything you do in the gym, if you do it correctly, you should be working your core. Um, in saying that, um, I actually found this workout very effective. I'm not going back on my word, but like I said, if you if, if you don't generally train abs, if you do a whole session on abs, and for the ones that do, you're definitely going to be feeling this workout for sure. So the first exercise we're going to do is a plank. Now, a plank isn't just for your stomach. As I said, every exercise you do, you work your whole core. So yes, this exercise works the full body. And you should be squeezing your glutes. And I always say squeeze the left leg to your right leg, right leg to left leg. Because that way you're really going to feel this exercise, not just in your stomach. So I'm just in a rest period here for 45 seconds. And we're going to be doing three sets. Sorry, we're going to be doing four sets of 45 seconds with a 45 second break between sets. Let's get the boring exercises out of the way first before we get on to the good stuff. So like I said, we're gonna be doing four sets, 45 seconds with a 45 second break. Just something to add here, the position of your arms, you should be wide apart, shoulder width apart, not um, together. If they're together, you're gonna find it easier. You wanna maximize the exercise as much as possible. And like I said, squeeze your left leg to your right leg and right leg to your left leg. So your quads, as well as your glutes, should be nice and tight. Okay, so just going into set three here. Now, also another thing to add, the position of your head. Notice that my head is over my knuckles, over my hands. I'm working as hard as I can in this plank position, um, and you should be as well. So just make sure that your head is over your hands as best as possible. Obviously, if you can't do it and you find that you're arching, then do it to the best of your ability. But generally, you want to have your head over your hands and also the position of my back my hips are slightly raised i'm not completely flat i just find you get pain in your lower back if you do that especially from experience with clients
So the next exercise we're going to do is something called a side plank. Now, being the name, as it says, side plank, we're working the side of the stomach. So we're working those oblique muscles. Now, this is also really good for your shoulder stability as well. And you can see that my feet are against the wall. That's just to prevent my feet coming apart and sliding apart as well. So I always prefer to do it like this against a wall. So we're going to be doing three sets, 45 seconds on the right side and then the left side. And for our rest period, we're going to be resting for 40 seconds. So just to confirm, three sets, 45 seconds on the right side and then three sets of 45 seconds on the left side. Nice and easy. Similar to the plank, if you have your head over your elbow, as you can rightly see, this causes more pressure on those oblique muscles. Now, what you want to try and do also is, like you see the way that my um, neck, well, my eyes are looking towards my hand, that's purely for balance. Um, you don't need to do this, this is just something that I do. Um, you can have your head forwards, I do it in, in um, some of the uh, sets. Um, but what you find is you might get a little bit of cramp in your neck. So it's best to always keep your eyes looking up at your hand.
Okay guys, on to plank pull throughs. Now, I don't generally do this exercise, but it, it is actually really effective. Um, again, for your, for your core in itself, your glutes, your stomach, they're all gonna be firing up. It's also really good for the obliques as well. So the full stomach, you can say that we are working here. Again, excellent for balance, excellent for core stability, highly, highly recommend it. We're gonna be doing three sets of 20 reps, so 10 each side. And for our rest period, we're gonna have one minute between sets. guys moving on this is probably one of my favorite ab exercises as well these are hanging knee raises and we're going to be doing three sets of 15 reps now if you go at the pace that you see in the video you're going to find this extremely effective and it's one of those exercises that gets harder and harder with every set that you do 
um, I'm really squeezing the upper abs at the top of the exercises. So as my knees come up, bam, right there. That's where you really feel it. And again, it's really good for just a stretch on the whole body as well. Highly, highly recommend these. Um, if there is an alternative, you can do them faster to get them out of the way. I wouldn't recommend that. So I would say if you struggle to do these, just, just drop down the reps. So obviously here, I'm doing 15 reps. So if you struggle with it, I recommend maybe five to eight reps. Give it a go, highly, highly recommend. And with this one, we're gonna have one minute and 15 seconds rest before we go into the next set. And then as we go on for set two, I've got a longer rest period of one minute and 30 seconds because like I said, it will be a slow burner, but highly, highly effective. Start a step three here. Literally, I was I was in a lot of pain at this set. And you might, if you watch the um, the exercise to the end of this set, yeah, I do. I'm, I am I am struggling. <laughs>
so moving on, we're going on to decline sit-ups. We're going to be doing three sets of 20 reps, and we're going to have one minute and 20 seconds rest between our sets. Now, these work the lower stomach muscles, and what you might find also as well is a little bit of pressure in the hip flexor muscles. Now, the hip flexor, if, if, if you don't work it enough, the, these might actually work harder than the lower stomach muscles themselves. So just something to bear in mind. Alright guys, on to the final exercise. We are going to be doing hanging side knee raises. Hanging side knee raises. So again, as the name suggests, side, we're going to be hitting the obliques. 
um, on the side of the stomach. But again, you also work the majority of your stomach during this exercise. So three sets of 12 reps. Again, take your time, don't rush. Really squeeze those oblique muscles on the upward face. And also, again, with all of the hanging exercises, you're gonna feel your forearms burning as well. So don't neglect that. So for this one, I did four sets of 12 reps, four sets of 12 reps.
go. So we're just coming into set four here. I couldn't wait to complete this workout, by the way. It was absolutely killing me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the workout today. If you got some value, you know what to do. I'll see you all in the next one. Guys, if you like what I do and you like the content that I provide, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. You know you want to. Stop playing hard to get. It's as simple as that. And that's where the party's at. <laughs>